Hi everyone. Today we are going to see why cleaning your CAD files before importing them on Map Studio may be required. Customer CAD files come in various formats and complexities. However, the Indo Map Studio requires CAD files to follow specific guidelines in order to be loaded without issues. This often requires files to be cleaned up to meet these guidelines. In this video, we will first look at an example of a CAD file representing a typical raw customer file without any modification and compare it to a clean one to see what kind of edits are needed. After that, we will have a comparison between them uploaded in Map Studio to understand the behavior. Please note that this video outlines our recommendations for you to have optimal digital maps. Let's start with the original CAD file. As you can see, some elements need to be tweaked. First, we have a lot of details that we don't really need for Map Studio. Building outlines need to be simplified to only be one enclosed shape and should be on its own layer. Separating shapes into different layers will help bring clarity to your map, and it will also give it different colors due to the indoor mapping layer types. Let's not do that as well for the room outlines. We will make sure that everything is enclosed and that they are on their own layers. In this example map, we have some inaccessible areas. We will also enclose them as you can see on the clean version. By doing that, we'll be able to directly identify them thanks to their types, since they will be colored differently. Let's jump to our furniture. Since point of interest will be on top of them in the location directory or reservation portal, we don't need to detail them. On this floor plan, we decided to remove chairs and some artifacts such as laptop, shelves, and all other elements that you could find on an architectural drawing but are not required to represent reservable spaces. Please make sure that all building outlines, room, desks, spaces, etc. are properly enclosed, or you won't be able to add a field color nor a polygonal point of interest on Map Studio. Now, let's have a look at the map text. Text in Map Studio will help create point of interest. We have two types of POIs, points that are only an icon and a title, and polygons that are the color of the area with the text and an icon. In this flow plan, we separated our text into different layers depending on their type. This is recommended to have a better experience while configuring your flows. Otherwise, if you don't separate your text into different layers, you will have the same icon and type for all your point of interest in Map Studio. In order to have polygons, you will need to make sure that they are into an enclosed area. That's also why we recommended that all your shapes should be enclosed. Once your CAD file is properly cleaned, this is how the final result will be in Map Studio. 